What's this? What's this? Super seven figures. What's this? There's everyone but her. What's this? I just don't have Sally, but I've got Oogie, I've got Jack, and that's okay. What's this? What's this? What's this? Accessories abound. What's this? Multiple heads around. What's this? The packaging is pretty, oh so pretty, as I sing my little ditty figures are so nifty. What is this? What's this? You guys, today we are taking a look at the Super 7 Ultimates Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie figures from the Nightmare Before Christmas. First off, I want to say that the Super 7 Ultimates line always does a amazing job at packaging. Uh, these ones are like tombstones. Uh, all the packaging, no matter what kind of figure you get, um, would go well behind the figure as a backdrop. It's just really cool. I really like how they did these ones. Now, which one should I open first? Oh, I'll open Jack. And it's always such a reveal like that. Wow. The packaging is great. It's got a little bio on the back as well that tells a bit about the character. And the figures always have a lot of options uh, in terms of hands and head sculpts. Uh, and they usually come with a decent amount of accessories too. Uh, Jack doesn't come with too many accessories actually. He comes with a scientific method book and his trusty dog Zero. He has to come with Zero, of course. I'm, I'm just excited to see how this figure uh, literally stands up and stuff because he's so lanky and dainty and elegant uh i'm just I, I think i'm gonna have to be careful with this figure but yeah let's let's just open it up so again they do even good backdrops in the actual packaging like you could like take this out of the box and use it to be the backdrop for jack this is really cool and already i'm noticing some interesting stuff here uh the top half of jack's suit is actual fabric while the bottom like pants uh, are plastic. I love soft goods whenever a figure actually has soft goods on it. I feel it's more authentic, really cool. And this is how Jack is going to actually stand. He comes with a stand. This is the first Super 7 figure I've seen with a stand because Jack has tiny feet. I didn't know how the heck we were going to stand him up, uh, but we've got this uh, simple stand, does the trick, no complaints. Oh god. Dumped his hands on the floor. So we've got a semi-translucent zero, and I think they did a really good job um, considering the scale he is to Jack, uh, because the pumpkin nose, they even got the details of the face on the jack-o'-lantern, uh, which is very well done, because it's such a tiny space they're working with with this uh, accessory, which is kind of another figure. The scientific method book is blank on the inside. I would have liked to see a couple like cool designs or something, but it does the job. It doesn't open and close, it just stays like half open there uh, to put in Jack's hands. And speaking of hands, Jack comes with two extra pairs. Uh, he comes with a pointing hand, uh, a couple claw grips there, and one open hand as well. And they're very cool, they're very well done. He also comes with the two different head sculpts you can put on. Uh, one is the angry, scary, pumpkin king face kind of thing, and the other is a sinister grin. But let's get to the figure himself. You know, for a figure like this, it needed to be kind of stiff to, because it's so skinny, uh, to allow it to stand up and pose properly. And it is. Uh, he stays in spot whatever way you pose him. This is going to be great for like animating and stuff. This is freaking cool. Yeah, I thought I'd be afraid to move him around and stuff, but I'm actually not. He's quite sturdy. Really, really good uh, wiring or whatever they used here. Got holes in both feet so you can kind of put the stand on however you want as he stands perfectly this is a great figure this is probably the ultimate jack skellington figure um i'm really happy with this uh very very well done i love the super seven uh disney characters that they're choosing they're going with some common ones some classic ones um some that people don't know as well like the robin hood characters and I'm glad they got to the Nightmare Before Christmas because apparently they're discontinuing the Disney line as well as the Simpsons line and those lines are awesome. I don't quite know what happened, if they like how they lost the license or whatever, um, but I'm happy we got these. Cause look at that, look at that Pumpkin King. <laughs> but now we got to open Oogie Boogie and he's the opposite of Jack Skellington figure wise. This is Jack Skellington is very wiry. Oogie Boogie is going to be a big hunk of plastic. He is huge. Look at this figure. Uh. Again, there is a character bio on the back of the packaging. The background of this packaging is super cool too. It's all the skeleton dye 
because uh, he's a gambling man. So he's got the dice and skeletons and the snake and everything in here. Very, very cool. All right, so as accessories go, he's got one of the bats that you see in the movie. Uh, the scene is really cool. It's done with black lights. Uh, so he's glowing that lime green. And I wonder, I don't think the, the, the this bat accessory glows in the black light or anything like that. Um, but it's made to look like it does. It's really accurate to the movie. Really like it. That's the only like actual accessory other than like head and arm parts that it comes with. As for arm parts and head parts, uh, he's got the head made of bugs and he's got one of his arms half sewn off with bugs coming out so you can kind of pose him like that if you want. Uh, really cool options. And then he's got the head with the snake coming out. I think that is very, very cool. Ooh, it might move up and down. It does. That is cool. It moves up and down a bit. It's, I. Bonus points for posability, that's cool. And he's got one hand that has the dice in it. I think that was a good choice. He's a gambling man. <laughs> His figure is cool. He feels really cool too. You guys have to feel the figure. He's very. It's a very soft rubber um, and very well done texture. His mouth moves up and down. Oh, this is gonna be great to animate or something. Like. Yeah, his mouth moves, his head um, and upper jaw moves up and down slightly. He can, st I don't think, yeah, it didn't come with a stand because he can stand on his own. Uh, very, very cool. I love all the choices they did for him. Although it kind of looks <laughs> like because his legs are sticking out, um, it looks like he's wearing a giant pair of underwear or a giant diaper or something. Uh, hey, and you know what? That's okay. They had to get the posability somehow. This is why they call the line Ultimates, because this is the ultimate figure um, of Oogie Boogie. I've not seen a better one. So do you guys love Nightmare Before Christmas, Disney, or Collect Super 7 Ultimates? Uh, I love the stuff. I can't get enough. Um, I'm a really big Disney fan as well, so... I really want to try and get as much of the Disney line as I can uh, before it starts disappearing because they're not making the figures anymore. But yeah, let me know what you think of the figures in the comments. Are you going to grab these? Let me know. Uh, subscribe for more content from figure reviews to Funko Pops to gaming. We've even got book content on here. We cover all the collectible uh, sphere. Uh, so subscribe. Check us out.